achievement test, they have to have a composite score of 85 percentile or better, and also they have to have a 90 uh, percent average or better. And so we had two students that really uh, blew the uh, statistics out of the water, and uh, God has given them both an extremely uh, great and proficient mind, and we look forward uh, for them capturing every thought of obedience uh, to Christ, and obedience of Christ. And our first person uh, to receive this award is Ms. Taylor Elizabeth Smith. Let's give her a hand. Is Jacob Richard Maloney. <laughs> All right. So now is the time that makes the students a little bit nervous. Uh, they, they've uh, prepared their testimonies, really thought through about how Jesus has brought them to salvation. And they're going to come down one by one and share their testimonies. They're going to use this microphone. And the order is from the student who's been here the least amount of time. That's Dan for one year. Let's give him a big cheer for that. My name is Jake Maloney, and this is my testimony of Jesus and saving grace. I've always been raised in a Christian home. My parents have always taken me to church and taught me about Jesus from the Bible. I also learned at church about Jesus in the Bible in Sunday school. I accepted Jesus early on in life, almost too early for me to even understand what Jesus did for me. But it was not until later that I realized I needed and wanted to grow in Jesus. I was very small, about four or five, when my mom read some scripture and asked me if I wanted to accept Jesus as my personal savior and friend. I was so small, I do not think I quite understood what I was about to do, but it sounded cool, so I said yes. My mother prayed with me, and I became a Christian. I grew up physically, but I think I was still a baby spiritually. My parents taught me right and wrong as I grew up, and I was a good kid, but I do not believe I produced any real spiritual fruit. I don't remember very much about that night. All I remember was that I was nine or ten, and I was lying on my bed crying. But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 2 Peter 3.18 That night was when I truly realized I wanted to grow in Jesus. It was then that I made my decision I would try not to sin, because when I sinned, it hurt God, and I didn't want to hurt Him. I think if I had died before that night, I would have gone to heaven, but after that night, I knew if I died, I would go to heaven to be with my best friend. I knew I would be with him because it says so clearly, clearly in this passage of scripture, that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9. I did confess, I did believe, and this scripture told me I did not have to question my salvation. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, you are the potter, we are all the work of your hand. Isaiah 64, 8. After that night, God started to mold me into a work of his hand. If I had problems in an area, like self-control, I tried to work on that problem, and God molded me. After my experience that night, God started to work out the kinks in me. He fertilized me with, he fertilized me with Christian influences, watered me with his word, and pruned me with life's storms. He still is holding me, and he will continue to for some time. This is my testimony. It's not the most exciting testimony in the world. I did not find God in any extreme way. I was brought up in a Christian home, always surrounded by Christianity in every aspect of my life. But even though it is not the most exciting, exciting testimony in the world, I hope it somehow spoke to you. Jacob Richard Maloney. We love you. Yeah.
Lord, we, we thank you for their athletics. We thank you for their heart and for their strength and courage and determination that has been amply uh, expounded upon by their teachers. And uh, so, Lord, we, we thank you for this school and the teachers who were privileged to, to work uh, side by side and hand in hand with these graduates. And uh, Lord, uh, each one of them in their testimonies uh, declared that they, like uh, the blind man in chapter 9 of John, that uh, spiritually they were blind, but now they see because of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the miracle of the life and for the miracle of life spiritually that gives us truth. And we ask that bless these graduates throughout their lives that they would never, ever forget and never, ever uh, abandon or try to forget the light which has saved them eternally. Lord, we know that their lives will be blessed because of your great riches for them. And we pray this now in Jesus' name.